All right, everyone. I am being joined by Jonathan Carlos. These are high school friends that went off to college together and they started their own business straight out of school. And here they are, they're, they're doing what they can do. They're, they're running their own medical equipment business down in Mexico. And it's really interesting how they got started and how they are proceeding because they are split. Part of their team is in Northern Mexico. Part of their team is in Southern Mexico. And here they are, they're, they're doing what they can do. And I'm presenting to you guys, uh, these wonderful guys that are making a difference in their own area of the world. So just showing you, you guys, you have options, even straight out of school. They started their company straight out of school. And now, you know, they're expanding and they're doing quite well. So uh, considering this last year and its challenges, that's absolutely amazing, guys. So uh, Jonathan, uh, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? How old are you guys? And uh, can you please tell me, like, what made you guys think that you're going to start your medical equipment company while you're in college? That's amazing. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> like I said, uh, my name is Jonathan Nunez Enriquez. My friend is Carlos Osuardo uh, Galdames. And we started our Hello. business. <laughs> we started our business right out of college, basically to, to help our community, both in any um, place that we were here in Mexico. Uh, like um, our friend Justin here said, we are split within our country, um, basically because um, we are trying to work out how to join our teams and how to make a community of engineers that are working together to share and to bring ideas to, to any place basically in here in Mexico. And half of our team is in Juarez and half of our team is in here in Tuxla is a city within a, a, the state of Chiapas. And the reason why we started the company was because we were eager to, to learn way, the way things were being done in the biomedical field. And we started off with the route of um, dental equipment services to, to basically give ourselves an introduction to how things were being done at, at a bigger scale. And we are thinking of moving on, but we are starting basically with a team of four. We're all started in college. <laughs> how old we are, we're basically, my friend here, Carlos is I think 22. Wow. And I'm 26, I started college late, but it's never too late to, to start off a, a great career like biomedical engineering and to learn how things are being done in the healthcare community. That's amazing. And we've had some struggles, yes, like any other business, but we're actually bettering ourselves through, through many things that we've learned, including through this uh, horrible pandemic that we had. And we've actually helped uh, both ourselves and our community through our business, like um, Justin said, we started slowly by selling um, minimal stuff like oxygen tanks, uh, oximeters, and uh, some sensors and stuff like that. But we moved on to um, doing services, maintenance services, for the reason that we wanted to to actually do a bigger impact on our community and help the health sector here in Mexico wow. in both places. So we are we are thinking that we are doing something better. And we see this because we are actually growing our business. We are thinking of expanding ourselves and getting more people to join our team from any place, being that in Juarez or being here in the southern state of Mexico. So let me ask you, for normal students that are graduating from college learning biomedical equipment or biomedical uh, technology, are there very, very many options for you as far as jobs? Is it tough finding jobs for you when you graduate? It is. And, and the reason being is because there is a lot of stuff that is being lacked on here in Mexico especially here in the Southern state. 
uh, compared to the northern state. Uh, the reason being is because most hospitals don't even have a, a medical department in wow. itself or someone that mm -hmm. actually guides you on teaching you how to do things, how to manage each service and how things are being done or how to bring in and join both um, fields, the medical field and the engineering field and seeing how things work together, how, how things are being done. Uh, compared to how my friend Carlos is seen over there in the Northern state, that there is a focus on how the management of, um, of clinical work is being done to how, uh, how it's being done in the service maintenance, basically. So there's all that stuff that uh, the Northern State is lacking some, some parts where it is like actual practical compared to here in the Southern State where it's, there isn't that many people that can teach us how to move on from being just the ideal or the, or the, the basic learn that the basic teachings that we get from college, basically. So you guys, in order to continue your education and learn about what the, the career field really is like, you guys have been using YouTube and Fluke's uh, teaching courses and stuff. You've been using all the resources you can to remotely learn what, what we do for a career field. Basically. Uh, that's, wow, that's really motivated, guys. Uh, kudos for that, man. Mm -hmm. um, so it does make a difference for you. Uh, because I'll tell you, there's many times where like I, I release, I don't know, I've got like 300 videos now. And uh, sometimes it's it's a real drag, you know, because I don't get to spend time with family. I don't get to go out with friends, you know, so I, I'm here making some of these videos. Some of them take 12, 15 hours to make. And, uh, you know, it's good that people understand that there is some benefit to, to doing this stuff, you know. I'm trying to encourage other biomeds to make videos because a lot of guys are really good at what they do. And if people knew that they could make a difference someplace else in the world, I think more people would do it. But um, it's, it's really encouraging that you guys have used these materials to help you out. I, I appreciate that. ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes. Hey. Uh, and good afternoon. Yep. Uh, Primero que nada, estoy muy agradecido por atender la llamada. Uh, he's very thankful that you actually mm -hmm. took us in and actually took the time to actually mm -hmm. talk to us. Eh, pues somos una empresa joven y por, por lo regular mm -hmm. este, siempre nos cierran las puertas, pero siempre hay personas honestas que, que les gusta ayudar a las demás. Uh, we're actually a young company that's starting off We've had some struggles that people don't actually fight to listen or to give us some advice, but we've found many other people who actually uh, has opened their minds up and actually taught us many things. Veo que pues mi compañero Jonathan ya le ha estado explicando un poco de lo que somos nosotros y, y algunos motivos por lo que se creó la empresa. Uh, as if I've heard from myself, Jonathan, uh, that he has told you about the company, how we started, how we've done things, and how we keep on motivating ourselves to better ourselves and to better others. Well, I can tell you guys for a fact, if you guys made it through this last year, then you guys are doing wonderful because this last year ruined many businesses, many. So the fact that you guys stuck in there together and you're growing, that's really encouraging. So that's, that's good for everybody. It's good for your community. It's good for you. You're going to employ more people. You're going to have employees. That's, that's, you're creating jobs now. So that's fantastic, guys. Um, dice que gracias, eh, está agradecido por cómo hemos estado trabajando. Y cómo seguimos mejorando nuestras formas de hacer las cosas y que estamos creando trabajos. Y que si ya sobrevivimos todo esto, lo de la pandemia, pues podemos seguir incrementando nuestro negocio a una gran escala. 
Oh, gracias. Sí. Este, pues gracias por la, la palabra de aliento, ¿no? Este, pues, Thank you for the encouragement. It's all good. Sí. Yeah. De hecho, yeah. estamos tratando de mejorar cada día porque la verdad aquí en México sí hay muchas deficiencias en los servicios que se dan a los equipos médicos. We've had some, like I've said before, some struggles. He says, uh, most of them due to the to the slow action of some engineers to actually do some services, mm. and some others from actually doing it correctly. Also, so we've actually hit that part to thanks to to some advices from others, from other videos and from the courses we've took to actually do things the correct way and how we do things. Uh, <laughs> este... no. no les veo, no tienen cámara. Ah, uh, sí. <laughs> sí, ¿qué tal? Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Qué bueno que están aprendiendo aquí de este gringo. Este man sabe todo. Ah, learn, learn from the gringo, yo les digo el, el MacGyver. Ah. He, okay. he, he got his Spanish from me, so. <laughs> si no habla mucho español, no me culpen a mí, ya he tratado. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe they'll teach you some more. Oh, you guys. <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you, it's, it's, uh, it's really amazing. And what I'm hoping to tell you guys about is when you learn something new would you guys mind setting up a, a youtube channel of your own for one it gives you exposure you know so people know who you are for two it teaches other people so let's say you you're you said that certain people aren't doing services correctly yeah. video somebody doing the service correctly And then when you get new employees, you show them the video and say, I want it done that way every time. Um, yeah, we've actually, we were actually hoping to, to get some advice from you on how to start uh, our own YouTube channel like that, that how we do things. And uh, I record <laughs> most everything with my phone. <laughs> most everything with a phone and um man I'll, i'll tell you it's it's so easy like today i recorded a video today of a device that caught fire and it's just me recording what happened and sometimes you record something to ask the everybody else like what do you think happened and then people will tell you And other times you're just showing them like you figured out why this happened on this device. And now you've got all these other devices, you know, you're telling people, Hey, look out because it could happen to these two. So, um, it's really simple. As soon as you find something that's really cool, just record it on video and YouTube app, just post it nice and nice and quick. It's very easy guys. And if anything, uh, I paid somebody. I don't know. I, I paid somebody money to record my little intro, you know, the, the little animated thing. And mm -hmm. um, that was cheap and easy. It really was. Um, and I just, I use Adobe and I put together my videos, you know, my videos are very crude, very little editing. You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's as crude as it gets because, you know, this is, it's a crude career, you know, I yeah. had my I had my hands and stuff today that was either urine or blood. I don't know. But I mean, it's it's disgusting, but it's fun. And it's, you know, it's what we do. We make a difference. Yeah, it, it's it's something that comes with the business. That we are. And we've actually understood that part that we're actually making a difference. And it doesn't matter how nasty or how weird it gets but we're actually doing something for the safety of each patient that gets attended in any other clinic or any dental place or any dental clinic. 
So we make sure that everything is done correctly and Excellent. with all the safeties and every action that we do, it's being done correctly. Well, guys, what I would recommend is once you create a YouTube channel, which is very easy, uh, you just go on, you register, and then you can start posting videos. Once you get five to 10 videos, and they can be little videos, just five to 10 videos, let me know. And I will send people to your channel because I have a huge Latin following. There's yeah. so, oh my gosh, there's so many uh, people in Latin America that, that watch YouTube to learn these things. So yeah. I've, I've got people, uh, Peru, uh, one or two from Ecuador, a lot of them from Brazil, from Colombia, Venezuela. I mean, it's all over the place. And I think you guys would make a huge difference if you recorded videos in Spanish, maybe even with English, that's up to you, but you don't need to. Um, my, my best friend who just left my hospital, he's uh, from Puerto Rico. And I was asking him, please, like record your own videos because I show him how to do something. And then I was like, just redo what I just showed you, but do it in Spanish. And my mm -hmm. wife, my wife does videos in Spanish and they, they get massive following, massive following because it's, you know, almost anything recorded in Spanish because there's not too many people that do it a lot. You know, everybody tunes in. So you guys would be great. Yeah, we, that's one of the things that we have in our agenda to, to do, me and my friend Carlos. Um, we actually try to see what, what, what type of content we're going to be uploading, but everything, like you said, everything, everything that we do, it's basically helpful. And just, just do, what we've learned. remember most people watch three minutes to five minutes, three yeah. to five minutes. So Keep them kind of short. If it's something really small that you're doing, just keep it really short and record something every day, every other day, because that's what helps you get ahead. If you do one a week, maybe two a week, um, it YouTube just kind of forgets about you. So if you do it like one a day or like show, just do a video saying, this is what I learned today and just do a three minute long video about what did you learn today? Um, it's going to help everybody out. And I think you guys would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, I think my friend Carlos had a question regarding. Sure, to... sure please go right ahead. Close. Dígame, dígame. Este, de las preguntas que teníamos sobre cómo empezar este un, una, una cuenta de YouTube y que lo, el contenido que vamos a agregar. Ah, ok. Sí, este, primero que nada, pues queríamos saber, eh, pues, primero que nada, estar capacitados o mostrarle demasiada o poca información a los muchachos estudiantes, a los jóvenes estudiantes. So, basically, we wanted to know that what type of um, knowledge we needed to, to expose and how to catch the, the minds of students or any other uh, people that are basically starting off right out of college and how to get their attention to, to this, to biomedical engineering? That's a good question. Um, well, as you guys found out, there's not very much information about it. So once you start releasing information, maybe about your company, about your goal, what you guys want to do, um, maybe the impact you've already had, you know, the amount of change that's already happened because you guys started your company, the effect you had on the community, um, people will start listening. People want a good story and you guys have an excellent story. Um, so kids like short videos. So you just got to keep them short. Um, three to five minutes. Some of mine go 10, 20 minutes, but, uh, some things, uh, some things are really difficult. You know, like, uh, when I talk about the heart or something like that, it's, those are really long videos because it's, it's, it's very complex, but, um, 
I think if you just started making smaller videos about what you learned or what you had to deal with for the day, um, people would listen. They really would. And uh, once you guys create your channel, I would love to uh, post a link to it for my Latin community and uh, show you what you guys are up to. I, I think it would help you out quite a bit. Um, he's asking um, basically if, if we could. Este, quería aportar algo así como que, por ejemplo, podemos empezar enseñando tanto en la seguridad eléctrica. Uh, he says, should we start off by basically teaching about uh, electrical safety? Sure. And yes. security in, in some clinics yes. that we, we attended. So, so I started with the basics. Like I started with electricity. What is electricity? I started with, um, well, if you're doing dental, you have to learn about pneumatics. You know, how like air goes in and makes something move. So there's, there's so much stuff that you guys, uh, there's so much stuff that you could teach. There really is. And, and the thing is, is once you start teaching about something, then you remember, oh yeah, I could teach about that too. So tomorrow you make a new video about something else. And while you're making that video, you remember, oh my gosh, I, what about this? So I have a list. I have lists of videos to do. And just because there's so much stuff to teach, start with the basics. Start with the easy stuff and then work up from there. Once you learn something, then do that. Okay. okay. And uh, here's another question for you guys. Yeah. Do you guys have multimeters? Carlos nos pregunta si tenemos multímetros. No, yo aquí en Ciudad Juárez y cuento con uno o dos, pero mis compañeros en Chiapas, ellos pues apenas estamos luchando por darle herramientas. Uh, he actually has one or two in Juarez. Here in the southern state, we actually have only one that we share with our team. So that's some of the stuff we have with our struggles with the equipment that we're actually um, trying to get more equipment from the small services that we have done recently. But most of our earnings go towards supplying our company's um, well-being. Yeah, understood. Well, let me see if I can find you guys some equipment, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a lot of people that, that uh, watch my videos, so I'm going to ask them if they have any uh, test equipment to donate. And I'll see if I can get you guys some some stuff, okay? Okay, that, that would be really awesome, yeah. It's all good. And uh, if anything, I can um, mail it to Juarez. And from there, you guys can figure out uh, where, where it goes, you know, what you need. So let me see what I can do for you. And if anything, when you get new equipment, you can do a video about the equipment and show how to use it. It's, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. We've actually basically, because of how we communicate, thanks to Google Meet and Zoom, we've done some um, learning ourselves on how to do electrical safety. And last time we were talking about how to do basic um, dental equipment services. On, okay. on, on the well, electrical card itself. you you can do electrical safety with uh, a regular multimeter yeah. you can uh but there's a little jig that you have to make uh, are you guys good at soldering yeah okay excellent well i'm i'll do a video showing how to make the jig so that you can use a regular multimeter to do electrical safety because the only difference is to do electrical safety you need to be able to open ground Okay. Yeah. So there's, you know, with a multimeter ground is connected, but uh, with the jig, you plug your equipment into the jig and it opens the ground. And that now you can do your check on your equipment and you can do just the same as with an electrical safety meter. So I'll show you, I'll, I'll do a video on it and I'll show you how to do it. So you can use your existing meter to do electrical safety. 
and it, it'll be good. Yeah, that 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 would be awesome. Um, we didn't even know about that, so yeah, we're actually yeah. gonna check it out and see how sure. it's done. Uh, so give me uh, give me one day, and I'll make a video showing you how to do it. And um, do you guys do you guys does your plug look like the American plug? Um, like two flat yeah. blades and the round one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let me do that, and and I'm gonna get you guys. I'm gonna see if I can send you guys some some meters. Okay. And uh, that should get you guys going. And uh, from there, we'll see. We'll see what you guys are up to. Okay. And uh, tomorrow, I'm, I'm recording the video about uh, how to start a biomed business. So um, hopefully, uh, it helps you out. It shows you how to get clients, um, how to, uh, you know, grow your business bigger and bigger. So I'm, I'm, I've got all these questions that uh, I'm going to ask. So let's see if I can do that and help you guys out too, okay? Uh, that would be great. That would be so helpful because basically that's, <laughs> that's one of the things that we need for our company to, to expand ourselves and grow. Understood. Well, Jonathan, Carlos, it's been absolutely fantastic that you guys were able to do this video with me. I wish you guys the best and stay tuned because I'm going to see what I can do to get you guys uh, some help, get you some test equipment. And um, I'm going to do a video to show you guys how to do electrical safety with your regular multimeter. And uh, that way there, you don't need an, another meter. You know, you just use your multimeter. Okay. And uh, I highly encourage you guys to make videos uh, even for little things. And you guys can help somebody else that might be thinking about starting a business. You know, the, the Latin community is full of people that are very smart. They're very smart. And I talk to them all the time. It's just, they don't have anybody to follow. So you guys could be that, that example. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot coming from somebody like yourself. <laughs> I'm just, a, I'm just a guy, man. <laughs> so thank you all very much, guys. Stay in touch, Carlos and Jonathan, because I am very excited. Uh, I, I want to hear how you guys grow, okay? Yeah, we will keep in touch. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I got to go. I am going to uh, post this video, and I'm going to introduce everybody to Lion Tech Medical and uh, show what you guys are up to. Thank you. Yes. All right, Carlos. See you. Jonathan, thank Goodbye. you very much. <laughs> yes, sir. All right.